Good morning, students. Today we see the eleventh Max Chapter One: Sits, Relations, and Functions. Already you know about the sit. Sit means a sit is a collection of well-defined distinct objects. Distinct means different object. See that here set of all shapes. So all those shapes are in different shape. So a sit is a collection of well-defined distinct objects or elements. Here set of all kinds. And then normally consonants in the form of a equal to set bracket one comma two comma three. Here this is a set of all natural numbers less than five. This one is set of all alphabets A, B, C. That means up to C. Set must be represented by the capital letters. Name of the set must be represented by capital letters. And then each and every elements are different elements in the set. And then the elements are separated by commas. And then next set types of set. There are four types of set. First one is empty set. Empty set means a set does not contains any element that is called empty set. That is only the curly braces. That is the set bracket only. Or otherwise it is represented as the symbol. The symbol is the empty set symbol. Next one is singleton set. Singleton set means a set contains exactly only one element. Single means one. Therefore, the set contains only one element. Then the set is called singleton set. Next one is finite set. Finite set means a set contains countable number of elements. See that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Totally nine elements. So we can count it. This type of set is called finite set. Next one is infinite set. Infinite set means a set contains uncountable number of elements. A equal to one, two, three, etc. Here. The set A is the set of all natural numbers. Natural number start with one, but there is no end. Therefore, this type of set is the infinite set. See here, B is equal to starting from etc. That means this is the set of all integers. Integers start with there is no starting point as well as there is no ending point. So minus infinity to infinity is the set of all integers. So this type of set is the infinite set. Next one is equal sets. Equal set means both the set having the same number of elements as well as the same elements. See here. Here the elements are equal to plus and star. Here also the elements are plus star equal to. So both the elements are same elements the, as well as the counting number of elements are also here also three here also three therefore this is called equivalent equal set next one is equivalent set equivalent set means the counting only same here the elements are a b c number of elements in this set is three here one two three here also the number of element is three but the elements are different here a here one so counting only same therefore this type of set is called equivalent set already you know about the forms of set set can set can be represented in three forms first one is the descriptive form that means describe the set a equal to the set of all prime numbers this is the descriptive form and the next one is Roasted form. In this form, we can directly see the elements. So a equal to two, three, four, five. And the next one is set builder form. B equal to x such that here the colon is read it as such that x such that x is an even number. Therefore, three forms of set.